So my name is uh, Chris and I'm the CTO of, uh, of Yadeo. My responsibilities concern all the IT part. So in fact, I manage all the IT uh, teams in Yadeo. So that means developers, that means uh, operation teams, that means some art architect or uh, research and development. So all the different uh, aspects and the different jobs you can find on, uh, on an IT team. So Viadeo is a PSN, Professional Social Network, and as I'm in the US here today, I can, uh, we can describe us as a LinkedIn main competitor. Okay, so yeah, we exist since uh, seven years now. Okay, and our members are mainly all across the world, but mainly in Europe, China, India, and South America. Um, we integrate uh, Neo4j to manage all what we call the social graph. What is social graph? It's in fact the, all the relationship between members. Because as we are a PSN, Professional Social Network, our core business is clearly the member and relationship between members. So since one month before we put in production Neo4j, we use a homemade algorithm made so six years ago. It was a mix between a memcache, memory, and a classical database, MySQL. So at the beginning, the algorithm works uh, very well, but with the growth of the, of the network, new members, more usage, more activities, more relationship between members, we face some issues in terms of performance, in terms of storage. So clearly, what we, we see is just that database and the classical tools to manage these kind of things was not the best solution. And we reach clearly the limit of our own made algorithm. Made a lot of uh, optimization, fine tuning, but at one point you say, okay, we must change, we have to change. And we study different, uh, different tools, all NoSQL technologies, so some tables and tools, but at the end, the conclusion of me and the architecture team that work on it was that the perfect tools to manage members and the relationship between members is a graph database. Because in the end, so the social graph is a graph. So what we need was a node, members, and relationship between those nodes. So clearly we study uh, some uh, different graph database, and we finally choose um, Neo4j for two main reasons. First one was the performance. Clearly it was quite good and very, yeah, quite good. Better than the one we, we had, but also it was the most simple solution. In terms of uh, integration, POC, uh, fast learning is just perfect because it's very simple and we know that best tools are always the simplest. And what we have seen is just in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you can have your own graph, make some tests, some, um, yeah, some, some case study, and you can see directly the benefit of, of the tools. And it was clearly the main uh, difference with the other tools. Other tools were, were more complex, difficult to, uh, to take in hand, to, to integrate. And you know, 4J was just, yeah, five minutes. You read the quick start on the web, and after you can work on it. After, you have to make some fine tuning to understand all the high availability uh, functions and things like that. But when you want to start, it's just, uh, you know, you have your, your finger on it, and after, okay, let's go. So it's why we, in fact, we, we have uh, chosen the for yet. We have decided to change our old algorithm with a easy one. To really integrate it, not just to have the POC, but to integrate to be able to put the things on production, it takes around two months. Okay? And the main part was to better understood the high availability functions. Because it's one of the main uh, concerns of Viadeo. It's we are we are a huge website, a lot of usage, and the uh, high availability is really important. So we have created a cluster with three uh, Neo4j instances. In, in most of cases, one server will be enough. But what we want is clearly to be, uh, to be uh, error proof, to be sure that uh, we are always 100% uh, of the server in fact. So it, that part takes uh, two or three weeks. We, we faced some issues, but thanks to the, the team of Neo4j and here in San Francisco, we, we have worked together and very quickly we, we have found the solution. 
Yeah, we were able to to, to use Neo four J in production since now one month. Yeah, and uh, clearly some production, no problem. My phone doesn't ring, so yeah. In fact, yeah, we see sometimes one node that uh, that was done, but it was a high availability cluster that uh, that would do the job. So we just say, okay, we have an alert. Operation team sees see the things, just launch it, the synchronization, and let's go. So for the users, it was totally uh, totally transparent. So yeah, it was uh, the good tools, and for us, it's just the first step because we we use the Neo four G. We use Neo four G for the moment only for the members and relationship. But the goal is to add all the other objects on the graph and to be able to have on one graph all the objects and all the relation between different objects you can find on the other website. So put members, put articles, uh, post in the forums and everything and link all these objects with the relation to be able to, to change your way we implement features and video that for the moment are only based on a database or SQL, some tools SQL tools like Bigtable, Patchbase, some tools for the search, Solar, and now we have another tool, Neo4j, that will allow us to, to manage a feature that are based on a graph. And on the PSN, you, you, you discover that everything is known, everything is relationship between objects, so it's clearly a, a good way to, to do that. So clearly what we have for the moment in production is just the first step. So the next step is to integrate on this graph all the other object, objects all the other relationship and very important it will change the way we implement new features on the other because for the development team it will change the deal in fact because it will be totally different at the moment it's the creation of database table uh, queries as well queries now what we will try to do is to create a, a meta language based on neo 4 to be able to retrieve in a totally automatic way the, the different uh, objects that are linked to other and to clearly be able for a user to, to use a first uh, object, maybe a contact, maybe a member, maybe a post in the forum, and from that object to discover all the other the things that the VIDO website can propose to him. And to do that, a graph is clearly the, the best way to do that. So yeah, we can say it's uh, just, uh, just the first step. Before this implementation, with our old algorithm, we, the, the storage of all the graph was nearly uh, 300 uh, gigabytes. Okay, now it's uh, just uh, 3 gigabytes in terms of storage. And before, when we have to re recreate from scratch the, the social graph, it takes nearly 48 hours. Now it's 45 minutes. 